welcome back to educator.com. We're in the single variable calculus sequence and we're looking at separable equations, separable differential equations, and in particular we're looking at this one form of equation that leads to exponential growth or decay. And I'd like to solve this differential equation from scratch even though our very first example solved it for generic k. It's just good practice to solve it from scratch. So I'm going to divide through by y and then get ready to integrate. And I'm going to, informally speaking, move over the dx. And I get to here. Integrating, I have ln of absolute value of y equals negative 0.03x plus a constant that I'll call c1. Exponentiating, I get absolute value of y equals e to the negative 0.03x plus c1. Remember that that plus c1 is in the exponent. We get absolute value of y equals e to the c1 e to the negative 0.03x. Removing the absolute values, we get y equals plus or minus e to the c1 times e to the negative 0.03x. Okay, now this is where I'm going to rename this quantity, which is just a constant after all. I'm going to rename it as c. And so we have y equals c e to the negative 0.03x. Now we have an initial condition to apply. y of 0 equals 500. So y of 0 equals 500, which equals c e to the negative 0.03 times 0. And so we get that 500 equals c because e to the 0th is 1. So we get y equals 500 e to the negative 0.03x. Okay, so that is our solution to this initial value problem. If we were to graph the solution, it shows exponential decay. So for example, maybe this is modeling radioactive decay of some substance from 500 units of it in whatever unit we're working with, where x is measuring perhaps years or thousands of years or whatever, and we're seeing exponential decay. And so in the final example, I'm just going to look for the half-life of this substance. And again, that's a computation you've done, I'm sure, in other math courses. And there will be nothing new about it here. It's just that we, we solved for the exponential decay result from scratch.